Hi, I'm Liv and I'm the Youth Music Ambassador for the Music at the Edge project. I'm going to be making these bite-sized musical theory videos for anybody with any ability to learn about music theory. If you have any questions, comment down below and I'll answer them in next week's video. And please remember to give this a like and a share. Today's musication is all about the chords of a key. And we're going to use the notes of a key to build these chords. There are seven different notes, so there are seven different triad chords to be made. If you want more detail on triad chords, go back to our previous videos where we talked about this in more detail. In the major key, each of the seven intervals can be made into either a major or a minor chord, depending on whether the notes from that chord are in the key. The notes of C major are C, D, E, F, G. Our octave C. Using these seven notes from C major and the rule major minor minor major major minor minor diminished, we can build our seven diatonic triads. For example, I know that my first chord in C major will start with C. I also know, using the rule major minor minor major major minor minor diminished, that my chord must be major. Using that knowledge, I can find my major third in the C scale and my fifth to build C major. The first chord is major, the second is minor, the third is minor, the fourth is major, the fifth is major, the sixth is minor, and the seventh is minor diminished, which means that your fifth is flattened. For example, here is C major. We go major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, minor diminished, major. And this pattern works in every key. So, in conclusion, there are seven notes in a scale, so therefore we can make seven different triad chords with each different note being the root of that triad chord. Using our major minor minor rule, we can determine whether our triad is going to be major or minor. And diatonic is just a posh word for using the notes of a key to build your chord. Thank you for joining me on this musical journey today and stay tuned for next week's video. Bye.